Hello everybody, welcome. Today's uh, going to be a little bit of a tutorial. I mean, I'm not actually starting on my next series until next week or so. But um, it's been brought to my attention. People were wondering how I make roofs and stuff. So I'm actually going to show you how I personally make a roof in SketchUp. And I mean, like I said in other videos, I mean, this is how I do stuff. And not everyone will agree, but or people do differently. So here what I'm going to do is I'm going to take an existing model of mine. I'm going to go to M no. I'm going to go to import. I'm going to go to um SketchUp files if it's not already. You it's by default, but sometimes I like to put like pictures on my walls and stuff. So here just have to find it. Wherever the file is, bungalow. It's an unfinished model of mine, as you can tell. But um, that's not the th that's not the point. The point is, uh, I want to show you how I would put a roof on it, and I'm still actually putting rooms and windows in, etc., etc. But anyway, like I said, not the point. So I go to window, layers. As you can see, right now, it's just this layer here. I, I've always put my roof on layers, so what I'll do is I'll make a plus sign where it says layer 1. I'll just call it what it is. Roof. Here. I'll select that layer. That'll be my active layer. Alright. So first, I want to make sure I have the whole area in which I want to build my roof. So far, I don't have it above where the porch is. So I'll just make it from here. You see that line there? It drags up. Is that line there? So now I have where I what I what it takes where I need to make the roof. And view edge style profiles having profiles on is good when you're modeling it's when you're trying to show off your model though and you want to show it in pictures turn the profiles off okay so there we go now um, as you can see this is ceiling height some houses actually have it lower than ceiling height but other houses have it where the eaves are actually at ceiling height I'm just gonna do it at ceiling height this, this tutorial will be uh, um, both a gable roof and a hip roof, so, and I'll show you how I do that. So, here I use the, as you can see, I'm using the offset tool here. See, it says offset. And I usually have my soffits out at a 1 foot 6. And then um, I will work on eaves. Some people have it 6, some people have it at 8. Let's try 8 for now. And I'll have another video that actually shows where this is all a hip roof. Maybe. I said maybe, not. Alright, so now I have a flat roof plane. Now, what I mean by both a gable roof and a hip roof, I want a gable roof in the front and a hip roof in back so I can show you how I do both gable and a hip roof and also inner joining roof, a junction on, a, on the roof ridge. So I'm going to have this chimney as center here. So I'm going to have that here like that. And say however high I want my roof like. You see if I wanted a 45 degree angle. I would um, usually, a lot, a lot of roofs are, um, and you see where it says 15 foot 10 and a half on the length bar at the bottom right. You want to type that same number in. Ten point five for that kind of roof pitch. Now for a house like this, that is awfully steep. Even especially, um, so, I don't know, 
you can, just by right here at the point you can have a half that height which is actually not bad or four quarters of the height three quarters of the height or five eighths of the height I mean it's your call on that one I'll do it at um, four no I'll do it at half the height no I'll do it five eighths would be good for this one when you're making a when you're constructing a roof uh, you want to use good judgment so that's what I'm doing now and then you just bring this piggy all the way home and here you sort of have your roof now I'll show you how to make a hip roof. Similar principle. Only like here, you know what I mean? 15 foot 6. You start off as if you're going to make a gable roof. Okay, here's half your height. Then I want to make it the same roof pitch, so that's why I have it this way. And as you'll see, um, I will either interjoin this way, like this. I mean, you can always do that, or if you wanted to, you can do it. That's the shorter way. Ah, redo. Sorry, even though I'm as used to it as I, I still run into these things. What you can do is like that but you'd have to go back in and erase all of that well I mean I guess if you wanted to for a clean model but I just do it this way just make sure it's it stays as a perpendicular parallel line like that goes all the way to the roof face and close it like that close it like that where you only have one erase mark one thing to erase there we go all right, so in terms of making a hip roof, as you can see, um, you'll see this point here. I use this move tool here. See how I'm moving it back? From the center to the edge here is 14 foot 6. So I'm going to have to move this back. Click on, click on that direct point right there and say 14 foot 6 there you go there you have a hip, a hip in your roof and that's and this is showing you how I interjoin roofs so that's why I made the roof this way also show you how and also in this video I'm gonna show you how I make door make other things too okay you see this um, you see this soffit here is 8 inches, right? So I actually um, offset this 8 inches. And then I'll just bring these lines down. You see this pink line? Make sure that it stays in the pink as the pink line. And also um, in here I usually try to make it like, like so here. 1 foot 6 or something to match the soffit. And what I can actually do here is just make a copy of this. To avoid trouble. There we are. Push this in. Now remember, this is just a roof tutorial, so um, don't think I'm going to be making porch pillars here. And um, what you can do is go in, unify this color. You don't have to, that's always optional. Um, 
but what you need should do is go to roofing pick your roof material or find one online and uh, choose your soffit trim color like so and I uh, get the idea now so basically here is your basic roof Now, putting things in the roof, like say, for example, a chimney, we can do that. Um, just take your existing chimney and follow it up through here. Make sure it's the same color as your chimney. Pull it out. There you are. And then just um, bring it up however high you want your chimney to be. Intersect lines with model. Erase unwanted lines. And say we want this chimney to be two feet. Color it. Yeah, two feet. I won't go into detail on the chimney because this just shows you how I make it through a roof. And I actually had it in my other house video series. So, yeah. What I usually like to do is I like to put lines in the soffit to make it look realistic. Like offset it by like offset it by two. Do the same over here. This just kind of gives it that finished look to it. So what you're seeing here is just basically the roof, a basic roof, and this is actually usually how I do roofs. Um, so you're not missing out on anything at all. So in a tent. Now another thing you would want to watch out for is um, are these lines here. Those look ta those look drab and ugly. So I'll just go in and hide these lines. Don't erase them. If the roof is on a different layer, do not erase them. Go and hide them. Because um, if you erase them then the wall will be the same um, layer as the roof and you don't want that that will just mess up your model I don't know why that line was there okay see but don't you see it now and then view edge style Profiles. See how flawless that is? It's just one clean plane on both sides. Now, like I said, you know, I mean, it'll look better with the porch pillars on, but that's not the point of this video. And probably the last thing, you know, I'll show you um, maybe dormer, or I'll make a video of that, but this is actually how I make a roof. You know what, what the heck, I'll make it dormer real fast. Um, let's see. Make a rectangle. Select. I'll 
connected make group put it on the roof edit group I got lazy so I'm going to extrude this out extrude this in now like the other parts of this house it's all very simple so I'm not actually going to put a window in my dormer I'm just going to show you how, a dorm how I would create a dormer maybe not now this is a false dormer so this is how I create false dormers if it was a real dormer I would actually make it with the walls inside and there'll be other videos where I show you that Let's see what we can't do for this group here move it up or down however you like just choose where you want it where you think it would look best hmm. let's see a five foot dormer probably And then here I do the same thing with how I make the soffits. Some people call it fascia, but, um, and I mean, these basically are just the eaves. I make the eaves, I actually make the eaves first. But I mean, modeling should be to your preference. If you don't like doing that first, then don't. And just do whatever you're happy with. But I mean, I actually found a way that I'm happy with, so I'm going to do it this way. And ideally, you want it to be as thick as someone's trying to knock on my door. Alright, well, um... Okay, I probably have to uh, run now, but... It is actually just, but just uh, in a nutshell, it is just like um, how I would make this roof here. Just bring it out and draw it like this. Well, everybody, I hope you enjoyed it. Please rate, comment, subscribe. Really appreciate it. I'm sorry about this. I have to go. But I will be back, and you will see a lot more from me. All right. Thank you for watching. Have a great day. All right. Bye.